You're in the clef zone. Welcome to the clef zone. I'm comfortable. Drama. Some funny stuff, man, happened to me. I signed an autograph for a kid. Clef from the Fuji's. Kid looked at me, said, What the hell is a Fuji? Ain't you a lion from the peace? I'm a fan, but no, I ain't will I am. Let me introduce myself to the new generation. I'm Juan Clef Jean, singer, songwriter, composer. In high school, I used to be a battle rapper. Then I got with the Fuji's. I hate it's 15 years later, still so more records than all of y'all put together. Yeah, that's just a piece of the biography of Juan Clef Jean. And when I spit, call me Tucson Saint Jean. You hear the choir, you don't want no drama. Someone gonna end up in a coma. Drama, can't they hear the choir? Someone gonna end up in a coma. I got the heart of a warrior. Ain't the thing that you can do to hide. You won the battle, but you didn't win the war. Look out the window, see a hundred thousand more. Yeah, this sneaker right here is the economic product. You know, basically, I say if we take a Barack sneaker and change all of these sneakers from Nike to Barack, and twenty percent of the proceeds. Go to the National Action Network and to organizations that will help out the urban communities with youth facilities, drug programs. There's so many different things that could be done in the community if we take a Barack product and people support Barack products and put the revenue where it belongs. Yeah. See, you know, this sneaker basically, you know, was the inaugurational sneaker. And, uh, that 44 represents the president. See, uh, unfortunately, a lot of our sisters and brothers actually don't even know what 44 represents. You know, when you ask a kid right now, what do 44 represents on this sneaker, on this Barack sneaker, and they couldn't even tell you, you know? And uh, they don't even know what the president logo looks like, you know? I mean, when you show uh, our black people the president's logo, they don't even know what it is, you know? And that's why we got the bomb in the back of the sneaker. I mean, it's a pretty classy sneaker, in fact. You know, we know that it got boxing gloves, but you know, see, people don't know, Barack was a fighter. He actually really was a fighter, man. He had to fight Hillary Clinton. He had to fight, you know, he had to fight, man. And this is just represents the blood, sweat and tears, you know, that the uh, black man had to go to, to get to the White House, to get free from slavery, you know, I mean, this is my sneaker, and I invested money, you know, to uh, make a change and make a difference. You know, sneakers, you know, this is a sneaker that represents change. Clothes. We want to take our revenue, and we want to change it into barracks. So 20% of the proceeds can go to an organization to help out the urban community. And, uh, you know, that's basically what these sneakers represent, man. You know, I mean, all these art leaks out here. You know, some of this money got to go into the community. But uh, this is serious talk. In fact, I mean business. No more joking around. Let's get serious. Let's get ser serious, ladies and gentlemen. This, this, this thing is deep, man. This thing is basically about change. This is about an economic uh, development in the urban community. You know, I joke. That's true. I joke a lot, you know, and got a lot of joke videos. But this is a serious topic now. We talking about a humanity situation. We talking about Haiti, man. We talking about America. You know, we talking about things that, that's really disastrous that's occurring throughout America. And we talking about products to change and to help and to contribute to economic, economics to the community. Man, it's, it's, a, it's a catastrophe what occurred in Haiti and you know, uh, I would like to give my condolences out to Haiti. You know, I got a couple homies from Haiti. And, uh, you know, Wyclef, you know, man, I'm kind of cool. That's my man, you know. And uh, he gave me a mission, man, to go out there and uh, promote his, his shoes and let people know in the community what these shoes represent. These are the Wyclef boots right here, man, the Timberlands. He got uh, a collection of... Timberland boots, man, and the money is was designed before the even before this catastrophe occurred. Wycliffe, you know, 
created these boots, man, so that the proceeds can go to Haiti to help out his ravaged country, you know? And that was a beautiful thing that he'd been trying to do, man. He seen this situation before time that Haiti needed help and that Haiti was a problem, you know? And uh, the same vision that he had is the same vision that I had with my Barack Obama sneakers, you know? These sneakers was basically to help the American people, you know, the economic changes, man. I mean, to take these sneakers, man, and, and take other products and uh, black people, white people, whatever, they support this. And the revenue goes to causes like humanitarian causes, like the Haiti situation. You know, we got a lot of humanitarian situations in New York too, man. We got, you know, there's a lot of problems out in this world today that people is facing, man, that's more important than other things. And that's the purpose, man, of, you know, my situation right here. That's the purpose of my sneakers, that's the purpose of Wycliffe Sneakers, so that we can take this money and put it in the right place. And that's what it's all about, man. You know, and, and, we, and if we take products, we can actually, you know, uh, fund our kids uh, more college degrees where they could become doctors and lawyers. We got a big shortage on doctors and lawyers, black doctors and lawyers. You got doctors out here, man, that's not even actually diagnosing uh, black people, man. Black people is, is the highest case of hypertension, and high, higher case of diabetes, man. And, and they coming down with destructions of their kidneys and, you know, and they not being told of their medical conditions. All the doctors are doing is just billing the insurance companies, man. Saying this is another black kid that came through the community, man. Just like these lawyers out here, 80% of our brothers is in jail. And they got insufficient legal representation because the lawyers overpriced their, their, their legal representation so brothers can't afford lawyers. So what they do, most of them, 90% of them cop out doing time in jail, getting records and felonies, you know? So that's why it's so important for us to support causes like, you know, uh, the Barack sneakers and the Timberland boots, man, so that we could put this money in the right places. You know, do black people ever want to change? Do we want a better life? Americans got it so good over here, man, that they so spoil you. Look how, them, how the people is in Haiti over there and what they going through, you know? I mean, we living in, in, in heaven comparison to them people. And that's why a lot of the Caribbean people don't have any respect for Americans, man, because we got it so good and we spoil you, man. You know, black people need to start sticking together, man, for a lot of causes, you know? Uh, uh, White people was 80% of organ donors, man, and uh, black people was only 10% of organ donors. They, we letting brothers and sisters die in the masses, man, you know? So it's very important, man, for us to get together for one common cause, man, and help out one another, man, and, and make situations better, 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 better. You know, that's why it's very important, man. We need people to, you know, to go to Rose Knockout Products, man, and, uh, you know, and go to Wycliffe's website and they can order a pair of Barack sneakers, man, or, or you know, the Timberlands, you know, that Wycliffe developed, man, for his, his, his people and his motherland. And when I spit, call me Tucson St. Jean. You hear the choir, you don't want no drama. Someone gonna end up in a coma. Drama, can't they hear the choir? Someone gonna end up in a coma. I got the heart of a warrior. Ain't a thing that you can do to hide. You won the battle, but you didn't win the war. That's Mitch Rose Boxer at Hotmail.com. That's right, I'm the boxer. I'm the guy that fought Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? I mean, we had our little fight. You know, I'm Mitchy Rose. I'm the guy that beat Butterbean. I'm the one who put the crack in the Liberty Bell. You know what I mean? I fight. That's what I do. I fight for causes. I fight for freedom, justice, and equality. I fight for my people, man. I fight for rights. That's what I do. I do, I do. But I got a cousin in the gang. He used to bang. Gave me a ring. He said, cousin, let me tell you a reason. If a